Garden number three is, is a really special garden in the Gosling Wildlife Gardens. This is the formal native plants garden. And this garden has, it has everything that the other gardens have, but it only uses native plants. So it shows that you can make a garden of native plants and have it have a formal type look to it in that it has very sort of some defined edges and some special features features like our stream and uh, also some very special plants that I'm going to show you. An interesting feature about Garden 3 is that because it's made up of native plants you'll find that there are plants that are native to Ontario that you really don't consider native to Ontario. For example behind me are a bunch of different prairie plants. Ontario has certain areas of remnant prairie and that's changed a lot since we've settled this area but this shows that some of these plants are native to Ontario so for example we have cup plant which is a great pollinator plant lots of different pollinators visit it um, and uh, wild wild senna all kinds of different things growing uh, coneflowers along this edge and another really cool Ontario plant is the prickly pear cactus and we have cactus that is native to Ontario, which is fun. Uh, and one of the places you can find that is Point Peely. And also prairie smoke here, which is another, another prairie plant. So lots of different plants are native to Ontario that you can utilize in your garden. So this is the cup plant, and you can see how tall it is. It's a very fast growing plant, a very big prominent feature in a wildlife garden. And it's called cup plant because you can see the, the leaves here sort of cup around the stem and that allows water to collect underneath um, or in between the stem and the leaf right here. So it sort of cups the water and it ends up being a drinking site for birds, for example, when they're thirsty. So one of the native vines in this garden is the trumpet creeper. And trumpet creeper is a really great plant for, uh, for hummingbirds and it's actually designed as a plant that uses ruby-throated hummingbirds as their main pollinator. So for one thing you can see that it's red and red flowers tend to attract bird pollinators. So there's lots of red flowers that we have that are designed for hummingbirds. And you can see that they're very long tubular flowers. And that way something with a really long beak can get in there to get the nectar but other things are going to have trouble getting in there to get the nectar you can also see that the pollen is right here on the top on the inside of the flower and that way when a hummingbird comes and puts its head in here it's going to get pollen on top of its head and then when it moves to another flower it'll transfer that pollen to the other flower as it goes back and forth into the flower sometimes the birds will actually um, find a hole down down below and possibly this hole here and be able to get nectar from inside the plant without going in and that's often called stealing nectar because they're not really helping the plant because they're not transferring the pollen. So one of the best features of Garden 3 is our recirculating stream. This stream is very shallow um, throughout most of its length and ends in a pond and it's a, it's a favorite place for birds bathing. We get goldfinches, American robins, and chipping sparrows coming here to bathe, but we also get indigo buntings, eastern bluebirds, uh, Baltimore orioles, uh, rose-breasted grosbeaks, all kinds of different things come to this shallow water to bathe uh, during the spring and the summer and into the fall migration as well. So it's a great feature to have in a backyard because it provides not just drinking water, but a nice bathing space for the birds because it is so shallow. So here's a chickadee using the, the stream to bathe in. You can see how shallow it is, which is perfect for even small birds like chickadees to be able to, to be right in the middle of it, but still stay nice out in the open so that if a predator came by, they'd be able to get away. 